Good afternoon, this is Daniel Quirtos here with Marine Max Orlando. Today I get to walk through with this brand new and available Scout 355 LXF. This is a beautiful big boat. We got a trailer for it, you can still trailer it, and it is awesome. You can see the flare, it's in the Scout white. We got the Midnight Edition powder coating all throughout the boat, and it is equipped with the triple 300 V8 Dorados with joystick. You'll see that you've got your scuppers here because it's a self bailing cockpit. You've got your nice um, stainless steel walk through there. And then you have a huge flare, which is pretty cool. You've got your windless anchor. You see that? That's a camera. So you've got such a big flare and it's such a dry ride. But when you're putting the boat on the trailer or if you're coming to a dock, you can actually go in the GPS. This will actually project to your Garmin and you can see exactly where you're coming up to. It's just a nice little thing Scout does and it's pretty amazing. We'll walk around to the back here, check out these engines. Got the double stepped hole here so it does have an awesome ride. This thing is performance based. These are luxury fishing boats and they look the part and they definitely perform the part too. You see that you have your triple 300s here. These are naturally aspirated V8s. They're beautiful in the Scout white as well and it's got joysticks so you can do a whole bunch. I'll get into that in a little bit. We'll check out the stern here and we'll go into the boat. Swim platform, it's pretty awesome that you can actually walk across and then you do have your dive ladder mount in the back there. You have these scout cut um, inlays here where you can actually see right through. It's pretty cool that they have that. Then you've got your Fotique um, swim platform here and it's really nice. Transom walkthrough door here. It is great that you're able to have that. This will flip down and then you can actually shut the door when you're actually offshore. Pretty cool. But come on in and we'll check out from the front to the back. So we're here at the bow of this 355 LXF. It's a great bow. You've got great seating, great storage. We'll start here with your anchor locker there. It's got a gas assisted strut. You've got your cleat and then you also have a uh, fresh water or raw water wash down there so really nice to have you also have these foot controls here so if you're standing on the bow you're able to put the windlass down and bring it up you also have your pop-up cleats they're oversized but for this boat they're just right you have plenty of rod holders throughout the boat including these um, cup rod holders here so you can put a cup in there or you can put a rod in there as well and then you've got cup holders throughout you have storage right here and this will actually go to your your anchor locker and you can see your rope and you can actually um, get in there if you have any kind of tangles or anything like that you see you've got speakers in the front this boat has the premium JL audio system two 10 inch subs and then these speakers throughout I think there's at least 10 speakers but you'll see that you have rod holders everywhere throughout the boat and it's a great thing to have because if you're fishing like we do then you want to have plenty of rods and places to put them down when you're going so underneath these seats here you have a huge fish box or storage however you want to uh, do that and then everything is just nice the fit and finish on these scouts is great and then you have your uh, seat back up here too you can actually pull this out if you really wanted to and just make it a nice new bench or you could sit and be really comfortable like so and have your feet up do whatever you want cup holder speakers facing right at you and then down here we got a nice big locker put whatever you want a couple kids but uh there's more where that came from so now that we have seen the front we'll come to this sun lounge here you have a lot of storage in here that's going to be your dive ladder, so it's nice to have dedicated storage for that. It's not going to bang around. And then you also have plenty of storage underneath there as well. Check out these seats. Pretty awesome seats here. And two people can sit here comfortable. You got your armrest. Then just imagine being out in the water. It's pretty great. And then you you have a, a little cubby here, so you have places to put your drink. And then maybe a phone or so. That'll go up as well. You also have places where you can put stuff here, like a little shelf. And then this is, has the cabin here on the port side. You're in the cuddy cabin of the 355 LXF. You've got your head there, vacuum flush, your sink. And then you also have 
this nice area down here, which will fill in and make a bed if you'd like. But you got a lot of headroom, you got your TV, and then you have these nice lights or windows that'll open if you want to have some breeze come through. And then close like that. You got your lights there. And uh, it's just really nice to have a TV. I'm comfortable. You got your fridge right here. Just imagine having your family if you want. You can put them down here. You've got AC down here and at the helm, which is pretty awesome. And um, it's just an all around great boat because it's a 35 foot center console that has a cutting cabin and that's what differentiates the Scouts from all the other brands. We'll come out of here and you can see grab rail right where you need it. You can get down in there and the lights are amazing. You've got another dive ladder right here and then you have your freshwater and raw water hookups. This boat has the dive door, or the tuna door, some people will call it. So when you open this, it can lock, but you can put your cup holders here. So if you have the sandbar, you can hop in and off, have to put your cup down, and then grab it there as well. This will open in like so. And then you can put your dive ladder right there, hook it up, and be able to get on and off the boat as well. We'll show this. You've got big fish boxes here so you can put as many fish as you think you'll be able to catch on here plus some. On the port and starboard side this area is going to be your fishing area. You've got a huge live well underneath this seat which is pretty cool and then you also have You also have a nice area if you want to put your drinks down, put all your, your bait prep stuff here, and then it'll second as a seat. So just imagine trolling. You're hanging out here, and you got your cup holder right where you need it, watching the lines, catching some fish, having a great day. We have a live well back here, and this is a huge live well. You actually have multiple ports where water will come in and circulate, so all the bait fish that you can catch will be able to have them in here keep them alive and then like I said you've got rod holders everywhere up in the t-top and then throughout the gunnels and then you have your handrails here so if you have a lot of people that you're taking out everybody's going to be comfortable you're deep down in the boat places for rods places for fishing poles and uh, anything that you need so you'll see that you have in the t-top here you've got spreader lights that come out the back you've got blue and green or blue and red uh, lights up here in the t-top and you have a whole bunch of different switches here that you can turn on including your windshield wiper and you'll see that this boat has the 16 inch Garmin screens here which you can control everything on and then you have oops let's go turn that off so you can put different screens on here it's got radar it's got VHF fully fish ready to go on